It's day one of the Dallas Card Show, and this place is hopping. Join me to see what deals I can make on the show floor. Of course, this episode is brought to you by eBay. eBay is your number one source for cards and collectibles with the largest inventory of sports cards from basketball to soccer and buyers from all over the globe. eBay is the leading place to buy, sell, and invest your cards. All right, so the energy is already starting to build. The show floor buzz is starting. Not even officially open yet, but it's, it's already getting a lot of people out here on the show floor. It's gonna be an exciting day. So when I'm first walking the show floor, one of the things I like doing is looking at dealer booths, finding some cards I'm interested in, asking the dealer for the price, and then writing them down. That gives me the opportunity to kind of get an understanding of what's going on price-wise throughout the floor. This also allows me to step back and check market movers to figure out comps for these cards so I know what I might want to offer. Good, how are you doing? I'm good. Good. Very nice to meet you. I watched, yeah. I watched your YouTube. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, friend. Nice to meet you, Jay. Yeah, nice, dude. What year Polistic is that? What year? Yeah, do you know what year that is? Uh, let's take a look. 2017. 2017, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a cool card. Condi conditions, not, conditions not wonderful. <laughs> it's a little little, uh, little beat up there in the back. Always hard for the thicker cards. But U.S. Men's National Team, early Polistic U.S. Men's, US Men's National Team card. It's pretty sweet. Um, I have no idea what this thing is, is worth from a comp standpoint. Have you seen any recent sales of this? Uh, or so anything? we priced our cards last night too, so this is a recent comp right. on eBay. So it's, it's, we, can, we want to be as close as possible. Okay. So, gotcha. It's gotta be the All right. If you don't mind, let me look. Let me see if I find anything real quick on oh, that. For sure. All right. So, one of these went on auction recently for a little more than what he's asking for on this. Of course, the only challenge with this one is that you got a fair amount of damage showing in the back of the card right there. You can see that corner is pretty chipped. You got a lot of kind of marking down the edge here. You got a little soft corner there as well. So that's going to detract from the value. Still overall, really nice card though, and it's one of Christian Pulisic's early U.S. Men's National Team cards, which I like. Um, what do you do, 400? I can't do 400, I can do 450. 450? 450 is my best price. All right, you got a deal, 450 yeah. it is. Perfect. Absolutely, yeah. good deal. Yes, sir. Can I go find you guys my Instagram too? Yeah, let's do it, for sure. All right, let's there we go, you. awesome. Thank good to meet you, Jack. Good doing business with yeah. you, man. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. So one of the things I really liked about this card this is number one of 25. Having the first card always brings a little bit of premium value. I also like the fact this is a really early card for Polisic and his US Men's National Team jersey on Card Auto. That's a big deal with the World Cup coming and him representing the US next year. So today, I'm really gonna hunt for football cards. I think that right now we're in a little bit of an off-season lull with football. I think the fall, this fall, is gonna be incredible for the football card market with all of the awesome rookies. People are gonna be chasing all these products with all the new quarterbacks. I think it's gonna help the entire football market, including all the way back to vintage. So I'm gonna start looking for a little bit of that today. All right, so this guy, has what I like. He's got some really interesting football cards that are low pop football cards. Some of these I might want to make a play on. This is this is the type of card I'm going for right now. I think Select is undervalued. I think SGC is a little undervalued right now. This is a super low pop card from any grading company. So that's an interesting card to me. This one's really interesting as well. That's obviously super early in Brady's career. All right, so this is the card I'm looking at right here. So this card most recently sold in an uncirculated version for right around 2,000 bucks. It's gonna have a little bit of a premium over what the card's worth uncirculated. It might be a little high priced at 3,200, but it's a really nice card. It might be a card trying to try to make a deal on this here. Are these your cards? Yeah. What's your name, Brian? Brian. Hey, Brian, Jeff, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I like that Brady there. I think 3,200's, I think a little high on that. Are you firm at 3,200, or what do you think you can do on that for me? My best on that would probably be 2700 2700 All right, would you be willing to do 2500 I do 2500 on it. I'll do it. You'll do it for 25 Awesome. 
Good deal. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, that's a great deal. I'm, I'm happy about this. I don't have a lot of Brady. I'm happy to add some more Brady to my collection. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Good Thank doing business with you. It. Absolutely. Have a great show. You too. There it is. Got it. Love it. Hello, sports card investors. What's your name? Yeah. My name is Lauren Serta. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, Jeff. Enjoy, enjoy your show, Jeff. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for all the content. Yeah. Gives me something to watch. But, uh, the small cases often contain the best stuff. When someone's walking around with a tiny little case, you know that's uh, that's got some good stuff in it. That's a really cool card. I love the kabooms. I'm a sucker for the kaboom cards. That's a gold kaboom Justin Herbert. And the way this guy played last year, he looked like the real deal. If he continues to have that type of career, this right here is one hell of a card. What do you, what do you want for the Herbert? Um, I'd take nine for it. Take 9,000? That's interesting. I mean, I love the kabooms. Yeah. I'd love to see the condition of this a little more. Okay. Is it is it okay to take it out? Sure. Do you want to take it out? I don't want to. Yeah, I don't like that. So go ahead and take it out. You you want me to tell yeah. you want me to. Sure. <laughs> All right. I want to. You know, if you drop the soda and spill it, you, know, you got still got to pay for it. Right. 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 <laughs> so condition's going to make a big difference on a card like this. Man, that's a sweet card. I'm normally a little skeptical of um, buying this expensive of a card of like this new of a player, especially someone who's coming off such a good year. It was almost nowhere for him to go but down. But I'm a sucker for the Kaboom, man. And that is a gold Kaboom. One thing you should know between those two players, Lamar was more referred to as like a running back style right. back. And he never had the accuracy coming out of college, so I did not invest anything in him. Um, Herbert, he put up numbers uh, the best rookie year. Has a you know, got 28 touchdowns. I love the selling. I love the sell. You're a good salesman. Do you do sales as a living? I do. You know, you see, there you go. He does sales as a living. He's always like trying to add in the value, the extra value. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so it's important when you're trying to evaluate the condition of a card to look at the back because the back in particular will show corner defects better than looking at the front of the card will. By looking at the back of the card, I can tell that the corners are slightly, slightly showing a little bit of white, particularly this one down here. Get a little bit of chipping on the back edge right there. Um, it's real minor, but unfortunately that's enough for PSA to knock that thing off of the 10 grade. Yeah, the centering's off on this one quite a bit. You can see like the, cause the, the top of the K okay. is supposed to be equally spaced. <sighs> okay, so you wanted nine for that. I do like that card, nine. The challenge with, so the challenge with trying to figure out a fair price on a card like this is it's in raw condition. So you're making a lot of assumptions based upon what this card could grade at, which is very speculative. Buying a raw card that's a high-end raw card, you're always taking a chance because if it grades below what you hope it might, that could really ruin the return on your investment. I would do seven. I think seven's the best I could do on it. I would pay seven cash for it, but I think that's the best I could do. Is it 75? Yeah. It's, it's the, this beat me closer to not even halfway. But. I think I'm firm at seven. I'm just worried about the condition. Like, I, if it were graded, then obviously it'd be a lot easier to, to, I'm just, I'm a little worried that that centering, cause I'm thinking, I'm thinking I would probably submit to BGS, but BGS is even tougher than PSA on the centering, which might take BGS like out of the option of getting a reasonable grade for this. And then you're hoping PSA gives it a nine, right. which obviously they don't. It would be pretty disastrous if you submit it and PSA comes back with like an eight, right. then that's disastrous, you know, for the card price. Sure. So it's just a risk. So I feel comfortable at seven, but like I'm getting Harper and trying to do anything above seven. Okay. Okay, well, let's do it. Then. You want to do seven? Do okay, seven. awesome. Good deal. Thank you. Nice doing a deal with you. Absolutely. You. I might have to sell some of my cards. I'm getting drained of my cash early. Early. All right, this is Kevin. So he's got, he's got some cards he wants to show me. He flagged me down. He said, Jeff, you have to see these cards. So let's, let's see what Kevin's got. Oh. Kevin, I can tell right off the bat here, Kevin's got big cards. These are 2012 Prism cards, and these are the Prism Prism. So those are the refractor cards from 2012. These are very low population, rare cards. I like what I'm seeing from Kevin's stuff so far. 
That's the famous Kobe Topps Chrome card because he's being guarded by LeBron right there. Uh, these three are kind of standing out to me. The Steph in particular. Anyway, so you're interested, it sounds like, these two are your main interest? Yeah. Okay. We're talking about possibly doing a trade deal. He's wanting to pull comps of some of these cards. So, of course, Mar the new Market Movers app to the rescue. We're gonna use the new Market Movers app to pull comps of some of these and see what a fair trade value for all of these might be worth. I give you these two and 10K for those three. This is valuing at 40? I, it's really hard to value it, but... I mean, that's what you're putting it at, right? Yes, that's what I'm putting it at. Can I think about it? You can think about it. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll come back to you later. Okay. All right, and, I'd lo and again, I'm totally... I'd, I'd love to throw this in and do something with cash for all of this if, you know, if, if, it, if, if it works. So think about it, come back, and let's see if we can get something done. Okay, okay? Kevin? All right. all right, absolutely. Man, I was really hoping to close that trade deal when it was hot in the moment but I really wanted that curry. He seemed real reluctant to give up that curry at what I thought was a reasonable price. So we had to walk away from the deal. I'm a sucker for these ones. Oh, the Kabooms? Oh, yeah. Herbert Kaboom. Oh, it's Herbert. Oh, yeah, number the to 10, the, the gold, the gold, the gold right? Herbert yeah, Kaboom, number to 10. Jake, what's up, man? Jeff, nice to meet you. I watch your show. Thanks, you do good man. content. I really, I really appreciate it. So I heard you got, I heard you got some cards in there. I heard you I got do, maybe I have do. a couple of Mahomes I might like. I have a lot of Mahomes. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Not a lot, but a lot in the value. So we got first one right here. So this is, by the way, JM Cards on YouTube. You guys check out JM Cards. He does, Jake does great stuff on his channel. Thank you. So we got a, a field level silver. Okay, right you here. see now I'm a sucker. You, you know, you see Jake brings this out because he knows I'm a sucker for select. So he's he's he right now sees me as an easy target because he's <laughs> like Jeff. I know Jeff rules over select, so I'm going to show Jeff some field level select Mahomes here. Can't go wrong with the low pop stuff, and then you nice need, need some high pop. The classic, not too crazy. No, yeah. people like that one. Prism, people yeah. like that it's one. It's liquid. It's, it's liquid. It's liquid. Yeah. Prisms are liquid. So those are my two okay football cards I have. All right. Can I, can I take a look here? Yeah, looking to diversify. So are you looking to trade or are you looking to sell? Um, I'm willing to trade, but I'm trying to get some cash in the deal to replenish. Okay. I, I made a big pickup yesterday, so. What did you get? I got a 2014 Prism Messi Auto PSA 10. Woo, yeah. that is a big pickup. Yeah. Good for so you, man. top 22. So what what kind, like what cards are you looking to trade for? Um, LeBron, Brady, Kobe, uh, baseball. Right, okay, cool. Do you have a, a price in mind for these ones? Yeah, so this one, I believe around 11,000 is what they're doing. Okay. Uh, the field level. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking for probably around 15 okay. trade value on that. Uh, Have there been there, any recent? There has been some recent comps. So there was a True Gem Plus that did, I think, around 14. And then there's also a Min Gem that did 14 before that. So it seems like there's somewhere around there. I saw a Min Gem in the show that was stickered at 12.5. Okay. So I think with the, the True Gem with the 10 centering mm -hmm. is definitely gonna give it a bump, so that's why I think around 15. Okay. All right, so you're around 15 for that. Around 15 and then around 11 probably for the PSA 10. And I'd be looking to get like, I'd say at least five cash in the deal. Okay, so I, I the Prism, fair price, 11, you know, market is that. The 9.5 at 15, like yeah. I love that. I'm having a little trouble with the price there considering no, considering yeah. a 10 just went for 15. Yeah. Um, so, but let's let's see if we can work out a trade, yeah, some definitely. cash, and see yeah. you know see what we can do on that. You said you were looking for Brady. That one's pretty cool. I actually just picked that up at a booth. I I don't like giving up Trey Young, but I actually have yeah. three of that card, so I'm like, well, yeah, you got if, quite the, quite if the someone wants to trade for a little Trey, I guess it's you know, I guess I can I guess I can stomach it. I mean, those are obviously both pretty big cards, yeah, but you know, I'd be open the, to them. The ballpark on that. So this one, this one's real tough to price. I had told the guy 40. Um, the last sale, that, I mean, that card is unbelievably low pop. The, the last sale of that card was um, a year ago in a BGS 9.5 for $8,000. And so I got to 40 by applying a multiplier from a 9.5 to a 10, and then looking at how Jordans have moved since yeah. exactly one year ago. That's logical. So you know it's very ballparky, but yeah. but that's all I could that's all I could figure out. And then the last sales on the bird are right around 35. But I would be willing to do one of the trays and the Mbappe, yeah. and then pass and then some cash. Yeah. Figure out you know figure out what yeah. that looks like. 
it's tough. I mean, with a PSA 10 having just sold for 15 and with how people overvalue, I mean, they overvalued the 10s compared to the 9.5s, right? But with how people overvalue the 9.5, I would have trouble, I would have trouble right now paying more for the field level than the Prism. You know, you got the Prism at 11. Yeah. And I don't think I could go above 11 on the field level just because of the 10 sold for 15. I just feel like if that were to go up at auction tomorrow, I just feel like it, people would see that 10 that sold for 15 and then apply, you know, say, well, that's a, that's only a 9.5, so yeah. it's going to go for, no, that makes total you know. Sense, yeah. um, but at the same time, I want you to be able to get out of it what you want to get out of it, right? Like, I respect, I, I, I respect the fact that you feel that card has more inherent value than that, and it probably does in the long term. So what I would say is, um, I would just, I'll just, I would just do a deal on the Mahomes then. If I'm going to do cash, I would do, um, I would do these two and 5,500 cash for that. So that basically puts it at, if, you know, if you, you, I think you assigned a trade value of what, 5,100 collectively for those two. So that put it at 10, six, um, ha half cash, half trade essentially. Would you be willing to do just the Mbappe in cash? Because I do have someone who's interested in this, and they have a Brady Bowman Chrome 9.5, and he was offering that. Not offering, but he said that he would be around that card in 3,000 3, cash. So the Brady is a card that I'm definitely more looking to pick up. Uh, I like the Mbappe because it's liquid. This one I feel like I have a little more trouble moving the tray. So if I was putting the Mahomes at around like the lower comp, I think I'd want to get the like, majority cash. So. I'd probably be thinking like the Mbappe, so that's 26, uh, like 7,900 in the Mbappe. That would put the Mahomes at 10.5. Yeah, my only challenge with that is just that it is, it is pulling a lot of cash out. Yeah. Um, would, you do the, would you do the Mbappe in 7,500 cash? I mean, I'm also considering the fact that, like, if you were to, set, you know, put that on eBay tomorrow or something, you would get hit with... Yeah, 15%. And so since we're going, like, yeah. cash heavy in the yeah, deal yeah, yeah. now, that's why I'm, like, wanting to bring it down a little further, is just because I'm accounting for essentially that. Yeah. So if it sold for 11000 I would net around 93 to mm -hmm. 95 mm -hmm. um, Yeah, I can do 75 75 yeah, Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. You got a deal. It, awesome, for sure. There we go. We got it worked out. We got it worked out. He got a nice Mbappe. He got some cash to take out to the trade show floor. And I got the Prism Mahomes, which a very standard Mahomes rookie card. But I mean, he's the best thing going right now in the league, in my opinion. So you can't go wrong with that. It's low pop because 2017, there just weren't many of these made. So, all right, let's do the deal. Awesome. Let me pull some cash out. The bank just gave that to me in that thing. So it was bank, bank wired. I trusted the bank for better or for worse. Yeah. All right. Cool. We're official. Official, official. Thanks again, Joe. Absolutely. It. Yeah, it was fun, man. Yeah, I'm glad we can get it done. Yeah, for sure. It'll be great content for my video. It's going to be fun. I'm really happy with some of those deals I got today. But here's the problem. It's the end of day one, and now I'm pretty low on cash. So I gotta find my way into either doing some trades or selling some cards and finding some cash for the next day.